Greetings, welcome. Today, we're gonna be making protein bars at home. Wow, homemade protein bars. Three, we shall see what happens. Reducing, reusing, and recycling with my own bags. Nice. today. <laughs> almond milk. I didn't know almonds could be milked, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Brown flavor. Um maybe I should get more than one. And confectioners. Oh, cocoa. They don't have black cocoa. So I'm going to settle for the only option. Heck yeah! Okay, now, <laughs> trick, it's okay. Okay, we're back home. We took a little rest. So now it's the next day. I woke up ill, so please excuse that I am the illest in the room. Bruh. Um, So let's make some protein bars, yay! <laughs> so first one is gonna be, I think the guy called it like an Oreo. There was no Oreos in there. It kind of looked like an Oreo, but I'm not expecting it to taste like an Oreo. All right. Step number one, bowl. Okay, I just realized the guy whose recipe I'm trying to emulate did not give any measurements. So we are just free balling it. Fresh tub. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, you cannot see it at all. One scoop. Whey vanilla protein powder. I do not believe the type of protein matter, so if you use another type of protein, that's fine. The guy also said to use black cocoa. I couldn't find that. I wasn't gonna go to more than one store looking for that, so I just got regular. I think this is mostly for color over flavor, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna put a little bit. This much? <laughs> Maybe I should measure it. I'm gonna put one tablespoon. Yes, sir. Okay, so for the zero calorie sweetener, I got this Stevia Confectioner's sugar. I think the difference between this and regular kind is that it's more 
light and fluffy, like powdered sugar. I'm gonna put one teaspoon, two heaping teaspoon, three heaping teaspoon. That was probably more like five teaspoons because they were not flat. <laughs> Mix until combined. Frick, this bowl sucks. Now we're gonna add some Greek yogurt. Um, once again, I think for the third time, there's no measurement. So I'm just gonna be adding until it's kind of thick and doughy. I'm realizing now this is probably one of the worst recipes I could have used because there's no guidance, but that's okay. We're, we're going off the trail today. One tablespoon. That didn't work in the slightest. Two. Never mind. The four tablespoons was too many tablespoons. So we're gonna add more other things. Sweetener? Added a totally unknown measurement of sweetener. I really messed this one up. Um, but I'm gonna blame that guy because he didn't tell me <laughs> the measurements. Attempt number two. One scoop vanilla protein, one tablespoon of cocoa, one, two, three tablespoons of confectioner's stevia, but the sweetness is kind of up to you. That just might change the consistency, so be careful when you're adding the Greek yogurt. Combine. Wow. Fork scratching on a bowl. Lovely noise. So I think we're just gonna do two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. It's like this crumbly consistency and we're gonna mix it a lot more until it's a little bit more combined. So it's mostly just mixing at this point. Five minutes later. Okay, I literally can't believe I did it, but I did it. Um, so pretty much when you're mixing it and you think, hey, I've been mixing for a while, keep mixing. It'll work, just keep mixing. Anyway, continuing. Next step is to make this sort of icing. The guy said protein milk. I don't know what he meant by that, but I got this. Spoonful of confectioner's stevia. Just a little dribble. Oh my God, the cops. Form it into a ball. Looks kind of like a little white turd nugget. That's okay. Wow, look at that. <laughs> have you ever seen anything more appealing in your entire life? I have. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I'm supposed to touch it like this. Okay. I feel like I wasn't. Bueno, now we're gonna put it in the freezer for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, feeling mixed feelings right now. Okay, next protein bar. Um, I'm a little more hopeful because this one has measurements available. So, let's go. Oats, half cup. Boom. Protein powder, one scoop. Boom. One tablespoon of zero calorie sweetener. Boom. One tablespoon of peanut butter. If you notice, my peanut butter is separated at the top. This is the good peanut butter. Look at that. Bruh. One tablespoon. Perfect! Now a tablespoon and a teaspoon of almond milk. I'm sure you can use any kind of milk. Uh, this is what I'm using. Non-sweetened almond milk. Just know that might change the calories. 
Now we mix. I feel like this needs more almond milk. Adding another tablespoon of almond milk. So it's two tablespoons. Okay, now we're gonna put this little puppy in the freezer as well. And last, but not least, protein bar. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be using chocolate peanut butter protein. Feel free to use whatever your little heart desires though. Holy frack. Eight grams of peanut butter powder. Slowly add in your sugar-free syrup one tablespoon at a time. One. Two. Okay, two tablespoons was enough. We just gotta mix it a lot. Salt. Looks a bit sus, but it's... It's just sugar. Now form it into the shape of a protein bar. I believe protein bars come in many shapes and sizes, so mine is gonna look like this today. So now I'm just gonna wrap that up and put it in the freezer. All right, back to try bar number one. As you can see, I've already started clawing my way at it, um, but it's stuck to the plate, so let's go. Extra large knife, just scoop to poop. Ooh, lovely. Texture. I'm rocking with it. Um, do I think it would survive outside the fridge? It's a negative. Smells like Pure protein powder. Tastes actually not bad. Tastes like something I'm familiar with, but I can't name it. As a fun little treat, maybe like seven out of 10, as something that you can take on the go with you and use as like an actual convenience protein bar, one out of 10, I honestly don't think this would survive long outside the freezer. But it's pretty good and I think it's worth making at least once because it did not require a lot of ingredients and it really was not difficult to make. All right, protein bar number two. Ooh. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Let's go. Really good, this one's really good. Probably taste-wise, like eight out of 10. Again, I do not believe this would survive outside of the house. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Convenient, easy, delicious. Made with love. Okay, the final protein bar. Ooh, this looks unconsumable. <laughs> looks like actually a nightmare. Yeah. Ooh, nice. It's like raw dough. That's what it looks like. First bite. Wish me luck. I'm a bit bummed because I thought I would like this one the best, but it's not, it's not. I like the second one the best. This is probably like five out of 10. Good to make just like as a weird fun snack to make. I don't know if I'd consider this a protein bar though. It's like a protein dough, sludge, sludge. All right, in order of scrumptiousness, number one, the best. Probably like eight out of 10. Number two, second best, probably like seven out of 10. Number three, probably like a five out of 10. Uh, kind of disappointed, yeah. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for coming with me 
on this journey. Sorry the video was a bit low energy, I started to progressively feel worse as the minutes ticked onward. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you give, if you give the protein bars a try, let me know. Let me know if there's another recipe you like, or what you would like to see attempted next. Okay, bye!